What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick one, I'll be showing you how to create yourself as a Lego minifigure, yet another AI trend that's been going around, especially recently. As in my previous video, I showed you how to do yourself as a Funko Pop, and my results came out pretty good. But another popular trend is doing the exact same thing, but as a Lego minifigure. If you'd like to create yourself a Lego minifigure replica of yourself, in the description down below, you'll find a link to Microsoft Designer with a partially filled prompt where you can see simply fill in the blanks and you'll have yourself a minifigure. It's that simple. All you need to do is sign in with a Microsoft account before you click generate, otherwise click edit entire prompt over here, copy everything you filled in and click generate, then sign in and if you need to restore your copied and backed up prompt, simply edit, paste it in and click generate once more. If we generate using the default prompt here without filling in anything, you'll see the kind of image that comes out of it. This is actually crazy. The quality of these just looks insane. And of course, if you wish, you can upscale them later on, etc. But just looking a bit closer at this, the plastic texture, crazy, the bokeh effect and everything else just is chef's kiss. It's great. Using this simple prompt, once again, found down below, fill in the blanks or skip over them if it's already correct. For me, actually, most of this is good, except for eyes blue. I'll edit the prompt, so it's the correct way around. There we go. So I've got brown eyes. I don't wear glasses, so I'll give myself maybe a Christmas hat, Christmas sweater, and we'll stay with, I don't know, maybe white Nike shoes. We'll generate. And just like that, we have a few AI recreations of ourselves. If you'd like further control, just edit the prompt and take out whatever you don't like, adjust it, etc. I'll add maybe standing next to Lego box with troubleshoot written on it and see what comes out. Hey, that's actually pretty good, except for maybe the text that's a bit off. But if we were to generate a few more, it'd probably look a bit better. Anyways, hopefully you found this prompt entertaining. Once again, you'll find it linked in the description down below. So hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My name is Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.